Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Tonight I'm uh, doing another um, blow and flick and spin. And um, I'm using a previously used canvas. Um, I'm waiting on a, my canvas order to come in. So I've gone through kind of my old canvases, finding things that I wouldn't mind painting over. So I'm gonna use this canvas. It dried nice and flat, so uh, it shouldn't leave any texture behind it. And um, today is Valentine's Day, so I'm kind of gonna rush through this because I'm ready to go out for a nice romantic dinner. So <laughs> I have some leftover paints here. This was uh, Chromacryl Acrylic Essentials in black with about six different colors of, uh, of metallics. I know there's some silver, gold, copper, pewter, all the metallics I could find that I had left over and I've just mixed them all together and it's made this beautiful, very kind of gunmetal gray color. That'll be a really nice base coat. Um, then I have um, lots of neutrals. My last one I did was the rainbow colors and this time I want to kind of go completely opposite and do neutral tones. So I've got um, Amsterdam Titanium White mixed with a little bit of uh, Chromacryl Acrylic Essentials in white. Uh, I have Titanium White mixed with Sterling Silver and Pewter. Give me that nice uh, metallic silver color. Kind of a, a mid-tone between the white and the, the base coat. I have DecoArt 24 Karat Gold. And then I have uh, a little bit of this leftover, which is um, Burnt Umber from Amsterdam and DecoArt Copper. So I'm just using up lots of my leftovers and um, including the canvas. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a leftover day. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to put down a base coat. I'm going to find the center of my canvas. I'm going to dip something in the center here to create a circle so that I, to use it as a guide. I'm going to drizzle my colors around. I'm going to blow it out with my mouth uh, probably twice. I'll do an in, inner ring after the first one. And then in the center, I will do a flick and spin. So I'm really excited to get this started. So let's go ahead and put down our base coat.
covered by the starlight It's alright Say you love me, say you don't Just give me something so I can move on Pull me closer or push me away Let me know if we'll be okay Cause I can't stand another moment of you playing with my mind. I'm so tired of never knowing, so spell it out. Cause I won't stay awake till morning. I won't stay another night. If you're feeling something for me, I say it now. results of my neutral colored uh, blow flick and spin i think it's spectacular i love this technique it is so beautiful there's so much motion um, and depth and layers to it it's so very cool i love the way it stretches out so i'll start you in the center i did do a balloon dip in the center because i always think it needs a focal point it there's a lot of chaos but a little bit of a focal point in the center really kind of brings the whole design together. I'm so glad I used that uh, copper and burnt umber color together. Wow, what a beautiful color. 
I, I was able to save quite a bit of the splashes uh, or the splatter, mostly on the corners, but I think it's an important part of this kind of design and this technique. Yeah, so I've got some good splatter in the corners. Look at these big, huge boulder cells. Uh, and that's uh, because of the uh, DecoArt 24 karat gold, but also because the chrome acrylic, acrylic white uh, helps create those boulder cells. Look at this area right here. Oh, wow. This one has a lot of really good sparkle and shine to it. I love the, wa the, the white is very dominant in this too, which is, makes me very happy. Some of this just looks like lacing. Look at that. How cool is that? And these up here too, the white and that gold played so well together. But look at this area here with the copper and the gray. Ooh, so happy. Lots of really interesting cells. And I think the overall composition is good too. I I'm glad that there's uh, that negative space is still there on the corners, but it's also in the center. So it, really balances out so very well. Anyway, I hope you like this. Thank you very much for watching. Um, unfortunately, I won't have time to get dry results for you, so I will put the dry results on my Instagram page, um, and the link to that is in the video description below, as well as a full written tutorial on the blow, flick, and spin technique. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching, and come back and see me sometime.